We've all heard about urban sprawl. You know what happens. People are moving out from the city into the suburbs. The animals still need a place to live. What happens? People and animals are meeting and conflicting more and more often. Especially here on the East Coast. We have the beaver. Their population is rising. And as you can see, this backyard has plenty of them. Come on. As you can see, I've changed my clothes to a little bit more appropriate wardrobe. What we've got here is a backyard of somebody who's got beavers. And let me tell you, this place can flood pretty quick, and they can build up their dams pretty quickly too, causing a lot of damage to houses in unsafe conditions. My solution? Pretty much a spading fork. Now, it's not very high tech, but I'll tell you, I had a consultant come out here, or the homeowner did, and they said that you can't fix this problem here. The land is too flat. We can't get deep enough water to put in a device that's going to help the beaver from stop building the dams. So, the solution? A couple of pipes. Now, these pipes have to be cleaned out once in a while, but we had to do some calculations. How much water was flowing through here? What was the flow rate? And we had to find out what size pipes that we were going to need. What diameter was going to be the right size to accommodate all that water? Well, we did those calculations, and it worked out pretty good. See right here? The beaver clog these pipes every single night. And every single morning, at least every other morning, someone has to come out and unclog them. That's nature. But then a question came up in the design of this simple device. Would it be better to have two separate pipes? Or would it be better to have one large pipe? Well, we tried one large pipe, which would have been more efficient economically and simpler. But guess what? It turned out that the two smaller pipes were much better designed. Here's why. The beavers, in order to clog a large surface area pipe, needed big sticks. If they had two smaller pipes, which we calculated have the same flow rate, because they have the same surface area at the ends, are easier for the beaver to clog. They just take a few little sticks, a tuft of grass, as you can see, and they've clogged it. Their job is easier, and so is ours. A simple solution, but it did involve some calculations. The net result of all this work, Beaver and I are getting along just fine.